I'm not coming from a broken, awful marriage. I'm just coming from a... May nangyari lang. Ginulat ng socialite na si Tessa Prieto ang marami ng isa publiko niya sa kauna-unahang pagkakataon na hiwalay na sila ng asawa niyang si Dennis Valdez pagkatapos ng 26 na taong pagsasama. Noong 2019 kasi ay nagkaroon pa ng magarbong African-themed vow renewal ceremony si na Tessa at Dennis para sa selebrasyon ng kanilang 25th o silver wedding anniversary. Pero nang sumunod na taon, 2020, ay nagdesisyon silang tapusin na ang kanilang pagsasama bilang mag-asawa. Sa exclusive interview ng Pep.ph kay Tessa sa Grand Media Launch ng streaming app na AQ Prime noong August 8, 2022, naghayag ng kanyang salobi ng columnist at philanthropist tungkol sa paghiwalay nila ng asawa. It was very painful and of course I felt the betrayal but in the end, after a year and a half, I decided I... It's time that it wasn't mine to fix but mine to let go. Hindi idinetalye ni Tessa ang dahilan ng kanilang hiwala yan. Pero inamin niyang dumaan siya sa matinding trauma at depression dahil sa nangyari sa kanilang mag-asawa. Of course, it's very traumatic and negative. But it's so easy if you have support groups. If you have people that love you and that see you in that new face you are. Yeah, the friends. Dumaan din daw siya sa sangkatutak na therapy para malampasan ang dagok na ito sa kanyang buhay. And all kinds of healing ginawa ko na parang for drug addiction and for for uh, alcoholics and anonymous. Meron ring therapy for healing for marriages. Of course in the end it's God. So you know, God will find the real reason and the timing of it all. Nagpapasalamat si Tessa na nandiyan ang apat nilang anak ni Dennis na naiintindihan ng mga pangyayari at hindi naging sagabal sa desisyon nilang maghiwalay. Ang mga anak pangaraw niya ang nagsasabi sa kanyang mag-move on na. Dahil dito, kahit paano ay napagaan daw ang bigat na pinagdadaanan niya. Pero inamin ni Tessa na hindi agad-agad mawawala ang sakit na idinulot ng paghihiwalay nila ng asawa. I have to say it's not yet done. It's still, it's still it, it, ongoing. It, it, it's ongoing. And uh-huh. which is for me a learning curve. So there are but, days that are terrible, and, but there are more days that are. It's always a progress. Ang the progression. Sa kabila ng pagwawakas ng kanilang pagsasama pagkatapos ng dalawang put anim na taon, hindi raw magsasalita ng masama si Tessa tungkol sa kanyang mister at wala siyang pinagsisisihan. Uh-huh. I had a wonderful marriage. No, no regrets. Twenty six. Twenty Yeah, no. it was But, wonderful. It was wonderful. I think you know things happen, and I'm one not to bash my husband. He's still the father of my kids. I love him so, but you know we have moved on. I'm not coming from a broken, awful marriage. I'm just coming from a. May nangyari lang, alam mo yon? It's a phase in his life, kaya sa if it's midlife crisis or andropause or whatever. May nangyari. Bagamat isa't kalahating taon na silang hiwalay, hindi raw nila pinag-uusapan ng annulment sa puntong ito dahil alam niyang mas masakit ang proseso nito. No annulment yet, but separation of properties. We're in what he says is just my mind and whatever we eventually give it to the kids. I need to protect my kids. Nang tanungin kung handa siyang umibig muli. Everything is possible. And everything is possible also for second love. That's true. Ah, to a younger one. Yeah. Yes. For the record, yes. yes. Now it's like my time to explore. Exploration is now. Exploration. But not ready for... I want to be a cougar. <laughs> I can end up with that. You can say that on the record. Para sa karagdagang showbiz news at updates, pumunta lang sa pep.ph at mag-subscribe sa Pep TV.